First and foremost, I'm really proud of our guys. Um, there was a big time response from uh, our game the other day. Um, I thought we fought for 40 minutes. I thought we were incredibly together. I thought we were tough. And I thought we executed um, some really outstanding performances. I thought our bench was terrific. And it doesn't show up as far as points. But what they did of understanding defensive assignments, of uh, defending, understanding the personnel, and then on offense, spacing, screening, uh, being strong with the ball when they had it. Again, it didn't show up as far as points, but it enabled our other guys to be able to get to spots and, and get openings. And so I thought they were uh, terrific. I thought Jamarius was maybe his best game he's played here. He was strong uh, in, in, in how he played, but also in how he looked uh, out there. And I thought that, you know, we fed off of that. Um, and, and, and again, John in the second half, able to get the ball down inside to him, him being able to play through contact. So really proud. Will got a huge offensive rebound and was able to go and get fouled and get to the line and make a free throw. So again, proud of our guys, uh, big time response, and uh, hopefully this is something we can build on. Can you expand a little bit on uh, Jamari's look good out there? Like Just as he, he had a strong look, like a fit, like it was, he was determined. You know, and, and, and how he was in huddles, how he was with his teammates. It was just strong. Like, he looked like a leader out there for 40 minutes. Jeff, you talked about fighting for 40 minutes there. I mean, there were several instances there in, like, the final five or four or six minutes, you know, where, uh, where y'all would be up by 12 or so, Louisville would get a three. But you all would always answer, like, you know, that thing that maybe wasn't always the case this season. How much of what you saw in those final minutes there – to you as a sign of growth from this team? Well, again, it was growth today, and it's something we have to build on. We, we said that during one of the timeouts. I can't remember. It was uh, maybe the under eight timeout. I think we were up 12, and we talked about we've been in this position before a lot. Actually, I shouldn't say a lot. Several times this year, and we haven't handled it well. Let's handle it well right now. Like, let's fire back. Let's, let's, let's get a stop. Let's, let's keep scoring. Let's execute. And we were able to do that. They made a three. We came down. We scored. You know, we, we got a stop. We were able to score again. We got fouled. We stepped up and made free throws. And so, again, we built on it today. Now we have to move forward and and, and, and build on it when we get back together on Monday. Jamarius talked to us about how it was very important this week that, that the guys bought into what you guys were saying and you know, and fulfilled what you, get, what you guys have been coaching them to do what did you see them leading into this game that might have been different than like their their approach to this game? This well game? again we didn't we were disappointed in our performance in our last game everyone um we didn't have the fight that we've had the majority of the season when we couldn't score the first nine and a half minutes at Syracuse we allowed that to affect everything especially our defense and I thought that we, we, we talked about it. We showed it to them. Um, and we had some really good practices leading up to this. And, again, the thing that I've said about this team that I admire, I really do, and it's not just coach speak, they've shown up, man. Like, they've shown up every day trying to get better. And it's been hard. It's been hard on them. It's been hard on everyone with these some of these heartbreaking losses and things like that. It's what makes me believe – and I believe it in my core that good things are on the horizon for us because it's, it's, it, it will be easy to jump ship. It will be easy to not show up or pout or feel sorry for yourself, and our guys haven't done that. Jeff, what, what do you feel like you took away? You all had played them only 10 days earlier. What did you take away from that matchup that you think helped you all in today's game? I thought we were better with understanding and executing, not just understanding, but executing our defensive game plan. We understood personnel better. Uh, we understood strengths and weaknesses of each guy. Uh, we did a really good job of defensive rebounding. We did not allow them to get in transition. Even in our turnovers, we were able to get back and make them play against our half-court defense. The first time we played them, they really hurt us in transition. And then we didn't play zone much this game, but when we did, it was better. We understood the mistakes that we made last time we played them, and they made us pay for them, and we did a better job of executing those things today. 
And then offensively, again, we were able to get the spots. Uh, you know, in, in, in the second half, we were able to get the ball inside to John. He was able to draw a lot of attention, which gives guys space to be able to do some things on the perimeter. Uh, Jeff, what do you see energizing your team with the guys in the paint? I mean, Mo has four blocks in the game. You guys outscored him by 18 in the paint. And, and John was just talking about how, like, their guys are too small as, as he's pushing through them. Like, I mean, what, what do you see that doing for your whole team? Um, I don't think they're too small. But, again, you know, John's a good player. Mo's a good player. And we have some good players. And it's just about executing, going out, and doing what it is that we talk about in the game plan and being able to sustain it for 40 minutes. You know, we've had times where we've done it for 28 minutes, 32 minutes, 37 minutes. We have to be able to do it for 40 minutes, and we were able to do that. Jeff, you alluded to um, kind of how rough the start of the season was, but what has uh, it felt like for the past, you know, few weeks or a month or so um, when you guys have kind of been able to stack some wins, get your Marius back and things like that? Well, again, I, you know, for me, I know we're getting better. That's the biggest thing. Like, I know we're getting better. The attitudes every day coming into work, the stuff that guys are doing, you know, individually coming into work, wanting extra work, staying after practice with the coaches, extra film sessions and things like that. It hasn't equated in as many wins as we certainly would like. And no one feels that more than us. And no one feels that more than those guys that are landing on the line every day. But I know that we're getting better. That's the big thing with me. Um, you know, we've had some adversity so far this year. Uh, but, again, we've continued to show up. We've continued to fight. We've continued to try. And a lot of times that's half the battle. And the other thing is that we've continued to stay together. You know, even in the dark times when things hadn't gone well, when we've had gut-punching losses, guys haven't pointed fingers. Everyone's accepted responsibility. And we've come back and we've tried to get better. You had, you had to talk about how even in tough times believing that this team was getting better. Did it feel like your guys believed that as well? That I think so. I mean, we talked about it. We would tell them that. We tried to encourage. It's easy when things aren't going well to slam down on people and to talk negative and things like that. They get enough of that, I'm sure, if they read social media. Um, it's, it's our job as the coaches, as the leaders, to pour into them and get them to believe and let them know that we believe in them. Um, and I do. I, I really and truly do. Again, you guys here have known me long enough. I don't, I don't do coach speak. That's not me. If, if I'm saying something to you, then I, it's something I feel, I believe, and things like that. I, 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 I think we can be a good team, but we have to understand the things that are necessary for us to be a good team. We got to bring people to the mud. That's what we have to do. We have to, you know, it's not going to necessarily be pretty, but this was beautiful. This was beautiful today. And we have to be able to be together, be tough, and execute for 40 minutes the things that we work on in preparation for these games. What did you see from the uh, three-guard lineup? Kind of went with a little bit more tonight. You know, it's been good for us all year. If you look at the plus-minus numbers when we've had three guards in, um, it's, it's been positive. It's been very positive for us. And so that's a change that we made. And it really energized practice, you know, the next couple of days. You know, I'm sorry, the, the two days prior to today and I um, thought it was good. It gives us three ball handlers, three guys that we can play off of ball screens. Uh, you know, O has shown that he can be a good shooter. He's a good defender. Um, obviously, JB and Femi, it doesn't wear just those two guys out all the time having to be the guys to handle. Um, and so it was good for us. Jeff Hawaii, and you brought Jamarius in. Was this, how much of what you saw today was in line with, with the player that you thought that you were getting and that, that he could be in the role that he could have on this team? Yeah, I thought, you know, today is more inclined, but I think he's done I think he's, you know, done a really good job for us. I thought he was I thought he's been good really all year since he came and again, we knew once we were able to get him back that it was going to take a while. You don't sit out 5 weeks and come back and just automatically jump right into it and you're good. Like, you know, it takes time to build up, to get a rhythm, to get your body right, to get your legs under you and things like that. He's a worker um and you know he's 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 a strong guy. Like he's not a he's a man, and uh, we need him to be a man because we're pretty young out there. Yeah, it, it seemed like you know in the second half there you were up by a lot, but every time they cut it, they cut it down to ten a couple times, and you guys seem to have an answer at the other end. 
every time. I mean, did that feel like one of the differences tonight is you guys were able to keep them kind of at arm's length? Yes, uh, that was just a big emphasis for us is the defense end in the second half when we were away from our bench. And I feel like today uh, we, we stepped up to the plate, accepted the challenge, the challenge by the coach, and we uh, showed up on the defense end in the second half, really uh, for a whole 40 minutes. What was the challenge that the coach gave you? Just being more talkative down there. Um, when we talk, that helps our defense switch and communicate, and, and um, we did that today. John, how much motivation or uh, was there for you going into this game where you played well against them the previous time, but you were limited to, uh, to 19 minutes in that game? Like, how much of a feeling coming out of that game was there of like, hey, I could have done more, but there were factors kind of outside of my control that prevented me from doing that? It was great getting there to play this home game. You know, just coming back for blood. You know, they got us there last time, which we felt like we should have got them there. And we just came out the hungrier team. We wanted them more. We follow coach game plan. We play hard. You know, we play pit basketball. Does this feel kind of like, uh, does it feel like you guys have kind of hit a reset, you know, in conference play? You know, you guys struggled in the early part of the year, but getting Jamarius, you came back onto the floor, and now you picked up a couple wins. Does this feel like a different team now than, than the one that you started with? You know, yes, definitely. But, you know, we just got to keep stacking wins. You know, we can't get complacent about this win, you know. We just got to keep stacking wins on the left side. Jamari, is when you guys lost John for most of the first half, how did you guys maintain the lead? I mean, you guys established this, a lead, went into halftime, you know, seeming in control of the game. Yes, for us, we just executed. Uh, we executed uh, better and we talked more on the defensive end. I feel like when we do both of those two things, we, we give ourselves a great chance. And we did that in the first half when John went down. We were able to maintain a lead going into halftime. What did y'all take away from the first matchup against him? I mean, it was only 10 days ago, so it's probably still pretty fresh in your minds. What did y'all take away from that game that you think benefited you today? Uh, for me, it was mostly just the communication and the defense. If you look at last game, they got a lot of easy points, whether that was transition and ones, um, getting the ball in the zone, uh, you know, picking us apart. But today we, we picked up, I think we went mostly man to man mm -hmm. and we just were communicating better. And I think uh, that paid like a big difference from game one to game two. All right, as an older guy, do you feel like a kind of responsibility to lead these guys, not just what you do on the court, but off the court and, and talking back and forth with them? Yeah, I think for me, it's just being positive at all times. Um, I've been in this position before my freshman year, so I feel like the biggest thing I took away from the seniors at that time was that they were always positive. They were always encouraging us to be better. And I feel like that's one of my biggest roles. And I feel like each and every day I have to bring that uh, to this team. John, what did it open up for you, you know, having Jamarius and, and Femi combining for 30? I mean, Mo gives you 10. What does it open up for you down low when, when all these other guys are putting up big numbers too? <laughs> it opens up a lot, you know, because then they play me one-on-one. -on -one and, and as we all can see, what happens when I get played one-on-one? -on -one? What's going through your mind when you see a guy like Williams or any defender down low? One -on -one? Too little, too little, too little. What, what was what was Mo's energy like? I mean, he got four blocks in this game. It seemed like every time he did, the crowd fed off of it, and then you guys fed off of it. Yeah, uh, I told Mo he got to be that eraser for us. When people make mistakes, he got to come in and erase, and I feel like he did that today, and I am so proud of him. Uh, John, when you're when you're, when you're playing playing the, the way the ways you have, and these guys are scoring. It seems like it seems like you're you're finding a place for yourself to continue to be more physical as the game goes on. Mm -hmm. Are you finding that like that's tiring out opponents? Is that is that like something that you that Jeff's talked to you about about how that can wear teams down in late just, games? Yeah, just keep going down and just, just follow everybody out. It's what coach tells me, just go at everybody, you know. And then once I go at everybody, that puts us all in a better situation because we all could get in the bonus. And then once these drives drive, they get contact at the rim. It's easy free throws for them. So it's just being physical at all times and making a present inside. You went from early on in the season when you first got back, you know, kind of kind of tired after a few long ones, but then we've seen you do a, a few 37 minute games and games like this where you guys are putting together. Where do you see yourself right now with the progress that you've made? You just got to keep getting better, man. Can, like I said, can't get complacent about this. You just got to keep working, keep getting better, and just keep doing whatever Pitt needs for us to win. John, you, uh... Uh, play basketball like a defensive end rushing the passer. Mm -hmm. the, the defenders down there, you see them getting tired of getting shoved around and shouldered around by yeah. you know, your big body. Yeah, that, like don't nobody want to just keep getting a chest today body for the whole forty minutes. So, like I said, my goal is just wear wear dudes down and just beat them up inside. Guys, how much, 
Huh? I was going to ask, do you ever play football? Yeah, I'll play football growing up. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Defensive end? Like yes, sir. DM. Yeah. 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 <laughs> There's no way to move on from that, but you all, um, I mean, how much, I mean, e even during wins this season, there wasn't a lot of breathing room with them. I think y'all's biggest win before this was nine points. How much of a confidence boost can this be where even if y'all know that a win like this is possible, actually seeing it happen, like what can a game like this potentially do for y'all? I think it's just a big confidence booster, knowing that when we do what the coaches tell us to do, when we're together, that this type of outcome, outcome is possible. And today you see the results and we look forward to building on it. Went to full court pressure there, like towards the end of the game, and you guys didn't turn the ball over at all. Mm -hmm. And let's say a team does goes to full court pressure the whole game. Do you guys think you can handle that? Definitely. Uh, as long as we keep our composure, make the right passes, the plays in front of us, I think we'll be okay. Were, you, you, talk, you talked about you know coming out for blood, John. Just a minute, but was there any kind of like animus between you guys, like the like the trash talk that built up, you know, maybe something that held over from ten days ago in the last game? And, stuff that happened in this game, like that you guys kind of had back and forth with them? Uh, not to my knowledge. I just think we're all competitors on both sides. Definitely. So um, to, today, I can't say tonight we played at four. <laughs> but, you know, we both were competing at a high level. And when that happens, obviously there's some back and forth. But I feel like um, both teams kept their composure for the most part. And both teams got out safe. So that's all that matters.